Good morning. It is day five. I'm a little bit further back. You don't have to see my face just engulfed in your television screen or your laptop, whatever you're using. So we're in St. Martin. Beautiful, 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 beautiful island. Fixing to get off. Go take a look, see what's around. So Voyager T and her cousin, they went on an excursion. I'm just gonna get my bearings. I gotta get my brain moving. I gotta get coffee in there. So it'll start making me think a little better. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. And when I do, you'll know, cause I'll be there. So let's go. Okie dokie. Ooh, I hope this cattail is helping because it is windy right through here. There's the ship. There's my yacht. But this is the island that you can actually go and watch the airplanes land on the other side of the island. Uh, they actually have an excursion board. Oh, looky there. We got a couple of other ships here that was hidden from our sight got the Morella Explorer too. I've never heard of that before. I don't know what cruise line that is, but huh. So there's three ships here at port. But yeah, I've never heard of Morella Explorer. That's the first. I wonder where they come from. I know it's not the United States, so it must be a European ship or something. It's a small vessel, that's for sure, in comparison to that bad boy. But this royal ship, I still, oh, Enchantment of the Seas. Okay, I'm sorry. Another small ship. I couldn't catch the back end of what it was called, but there it is. Enchantment of the Seas, Royal Caribbean, old ship. So here is the main port area. And this place has tons of shops and stuff. Okay, so once you get off the ship, they do have water taxis. It's called Phillipsburg is where they're taking you to, uh, but you have to take a water taxi to get there. So everybody was lining up to get to that little area. But if you don't feel like going too far from the ship, and you didn't really have anything planned, this little area, if you like shopping, has a ton of shops everywhere. It's not a bad little place itself to go do a little local shopping and stuff like that. So I decided to take a taxi to Phillipsburg. It's only 9.30, I thought it was 10.30, it was only 9.30. At least that's what the ship time says. I hope the ship time's right. But yeah, I'm gonna get on a taxi, go to this town. It only costs $7 for a round trip, and it's a water taxi. So yeah, we get to get on the water at least. But this is the little area to take a taxi to. I'm assuming it's gonna be over here on that side of the island where all that construction is past it. So we'll see what happens. So we made our first stop over here at the beaches area. So these water taxis take you to the beach and then they'll take us to the shopping area. So this is the beach drop off all up and down here, really nice. And then when we head to the uh, shopping area, I'll let you know, we'll see you then. downtown which is really not that far from the ship otherwise you have to go around that ginormous mountain right there to get to this side so water taxi definitely the way to go awesome still have nice beach areas right over here this is a little map of the beach area and what they have to offer let's see what they have to offer they have lots and lots of streets so we are on the Dutch side kind of crazy because you have these buildings and shopping and the concrete and then right here is the sand and the beach. Best of both worlds. Really cool. 
All right, so I'm really loving some of the names of these bars. Really cool little area. Nice little shopping area. Hot, concrete, but I'll take hot over cold any day. The Dirty Sanchez Bar. If you all want to figure that one out, you're more than welcome to. Oh, they got a McDonald's kiosk, it looks like. That's different. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, and there is the Blue Bitch Bar. Little bar area, and they have a casino. The Petite Casino Phillipsburg. Yep, going in here. Want to know what this is? It's probably not what I think it is. It's probably just like a candy shop or something. Yeah, it is. Le Petit Casino Phillipsburg. Let's go check it out. I think I've been to St. Martin four times, three or four times, and I've always just stayed in the port area, but I'm glad I did this. Again, $7. Get you here and get you back. And you can still see the ship. This little shopping area and the beaches that you can go to via taxi are very close. really like to get me a new one of those but I didn't bring twelve hundred dollars oh cool how much is it thank you thank you very much I really appreciate that that helps me a lot in the rest of my trip thank you oh huh, he just gave me a free little screw here very cool of him I'll make sure I name out this place when I leave now I feel like I have to buy something <laughs> I feel guilty for not buying anything, but it's so expensive and so overpriced. So we'll see if we can find something. Okay, so I have to plug this little store because they gave me a free screw for my GoPro. It's called Class Electronics. Great little place. It's very expensive, but they have all kinds of cool electronics, drones, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, if you're looking for that kind of stuff, go there first because they're very nice people. All right, let's move on. Hello, guys. Hello. Lots of jewelry stores. Lots and lots of jewelry stores. Uh-oh. We got the meanest, baddest four-wheeler gang in town. The quad killers. Look at them go. Okay, so I'm about to run out of memory on this SD card that I'm using, but man, they are charging an outrageous amount of money. It said $81, but it said US. For a 128 gig, not even an ultra pro SD card, it was more like a, just a pro, I guess, the gold ones, but I'm not paying $81 for a 128 gig SD card when I can get twice that for half the price at home. So I'll probably end up buying one on the ship it's just they don't have anything bigger than a 32 gig. If you know anything about SD cards, obviously, you know, the more the gigs, the more footage you can put on one SD card. So I think I need to start buying terabytes as many vacations and as much as I film. So we'll see. Enough of my babbling about that. Here's the beach, the beautiful beach and all it has to offer. So yeah, I think we're fixing to head back to the ship. But this is a really nice little island. And 
you know I had to try it. There is a casino over here, so I put a 20 in to see what happens. Never see these on island, so <laughs> went in Rome, right? All right. Well, I've done all the shopping and looking that I could do for one day, but I really do love this island. Just an all around great place to go. Can't believe I haven't done this before. Take the water taxi over to here. You can lay out, you can swim, water sports, jet skis, and then all the shopping you can imagine. So yeah, let's head back to the ship now. wonderful day in St. Martin. It's a really nice island, nice little place to go. I'm glad I did it. It is about 1230. I always get confused with the ship time because the ship time says 1130. My clock says 1230. It gets so confusing, but I'm going to assume it's 1230 and I'm going to start heading back to the ship. But until then, enjoy these views as I have all day long. And as far as temperature is concerned, it's hot. The sun's beaming down, but and it is not, it's not the kind of hot that just exhausts you. It's just a nice hot day. Great little town to visit. Hope Voyager T likes the shirt I got her. And the socks. I know she'll love the socks. Okay. Sweaty am I. We are back on the ship. Golly, I'm so hot. It's probably about 84, 85 degrees outside. It was a lovely day sun was out another shot of this beautiful island known as saint martin i always have to get my facts straight because when i do saint martin and saint thomas always get them confused always but having said that this is the first time i've ever gone over there to that little shopping area beach area really do like it you have to take a water taxi because there's a great big mountain to the right of the ship that you can't see that you would have to go around just to get to that area so seven dollars like i said earlier matter of fact that's the exact little water taxi that i took right there but yeah it's a really great place has some hotels over there a lot of beach area it's all kinds of stuff over there so really nice little place try to find me an sd card there and i hope i didn't get the prices that they had confused with you know dutch prices and american prices because the uh, sd cards there were 70 80 dollars 30 40 dollars for just a little 8 gig i'm running out of memory card on this stick that i have in there right now i'm going to get myself a little clean gonna go make me some sweet tea go up there see what they have might get something to eat i'm a little hungry as well so we'll see we'll go up there i need to charge all my stuff too so i'll see you in a little bit so went back to the room now i'm just kind of roaming the ship voyager t's taking a nap so i decided just to do a little roaming i did a little facebook live a few minutes ago but the internet keeps cutting out every time i walk around try to show people stuff the internet cuts out and it cuts back on and it cuts back out i don't know if it's because i'm walking around i should be stationary it's not the greatest internet to do live blogging oh they're doing some trivia i need to try to do that one day see if i can win me a ship on a stick Loki, what i found oh i found a duck let's see who it's from Keep or hide, you decide. Our ducks are on the loose. How many can you find? Celebration. Let's see, cruiser Susan. <laughs> Congratulations. Cool. Found a duck. Now I at least know where to look because they had them up here in this little area. So if you all ever are duck hunters and looking for ducks on the carnival ships, Celebration or Mardi Gras, this is where they put them. I found two of them. Well, T found one. I found this one just now. So, yay, three ducks. This one's got a cruise ship on it, so that's cool. 
Makes me want to go hunt more ducks, but let other people have that fun. And we're saying goodbye to St. Martin. Backing out of the dock, turning around and heading home. But it's such a great island. And as we continue to sail off, I don't know if you can see it, but that island right there, way in the distance, that looks like a giant volcano, is St. Bart's, according to Voyager T. That's what they told her on her excursion today, so we're going to go with it. I thought it was just a giant volcano. Mom, every thought I have, I'm done. But it's like... I know, but I just meet some guy and cry in the Help me, I need a good advice Please don't say no, be my hero You can tell me less, please don't cut these ties Need a hero, cause I got zero So after us watching the sail away on our balcony, we decided it was time to go eat and we had a reservation at Rudy's Sea Grill. So we walked down towards Rudy's and on our way at center stage, we saw these two performers doing, I guess, our practice before their show. And just watching these two practice was pretty amazing. It was really cool to sit there and watch them do all of these. I want to call them tricks, but good Lord. These two were wrapping each other around and holding each other by their feet while hanging on a rope. It was pretty extraordinary to see this kind of stuff. So after we watched that, we went straight to Rudy Sea Grill, one of our favorite places to eat. Got our appetizers. Um, they gave us some kind of funky looking raw tuna and some bread. Uh, did not eat the tuna, did eat the bread. The bread's very good, it's kind of like a garlic parmesan bread butter type of thing really good we each did get two appetizers and i got this seared shrimp that has these pork rind types of chips that come with it in this wonderful sauce you see in this little black bowl like four pieces of shrimp i got two orders of it t got the lobster mac and she also got a lobster bisque as her two appetizers she really enjoyed hers i really enjoyed that shrimp that was actually my main meal this is definitely my favorite part of Rudy Seagrill is this seared shrimp. It's just that good. I could have had that and been happy. But this wasn't as good. This was a sea bass and it was just very plain. It did not taste fishy. The fish did taste good, but it was just plain. Voyager T got the lobster. She loves her lobster. And, you know, again, it was just a pretty decent meal. This is the bread pudding I got. I think T got the same thing. And that was that. It, you know, it was overall a pretty good meal. We like Rudy's. I have a blue house with a blue window. And just like that, my audio SD card video went. So that's all you get to see on day five. That's pretty much all we did on day five, anyway. After that show, I went to the casino. Voyager T and M, I think they went to a comedy show while I went to the casino and we all went to bed. So that ended day five of our Carnival Celebration Cruise. I absolutely enjoyed St. Martin. I love that island. I highly recommend if you go to St. Martin, get on the water taxi, pay the $7, go to Phillipsburg, check out that little area. They've got beach chairs, umbrellas, the whole line of beach area that you see from the ship is nothing but swimming area. It's in a cove. It's really nice. Plenty of shops, plenty of bars, casino. They had a casino over there, very small one, but they had a casino. Just all kinds of stuff that you can do over there. I really did like that little area. And I can't wait to go back there again and check out more of it. You pay seven bucks to get in that taxi. They take you there 
and they'll pick you up anytime. Uh, they constantly run those taxis back and forth from the ship to that little area. And yeah, I highly recommend it. I love that's probably my favorite part of the trip to date. So that being said, I had a good day. And tomorrow we are at sea, day six and seven we are at sea, but we get to do the Carnival Kitchen tomorrow and I'm looking forward to editing that and showing you guys that because that was a ton of fun. Me and Voyager T got to make food and get yelled at by a chef. So that was entertaining and fun, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button. You know what to do. It costs you zero and it helps my channel out so much. I've got 700 subscribers. I'm trying to hit a thousand. I hope you enjoy my videos enough to hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't, I understand there's a thousand cruise vloggers out there and I'm just trying to be one little ant on a big hill. For those who've have subscribed thank you so much and i look forward to those who do subscribe in the near future so thank you and yeah that being said we will see you tomorrow on day six until then peace and love and i will see you tomorrow whenever i get it edited